Well, here's another VTVM. Now, I've been asking myself, and you might ask, how many VTMs, VTVMs do you need? Well, I got two up here that are working. Uh, I blame my uh, father-in-law, Al. I saw this one at his, in his basement in Michigan. When I came home from visiting, I bought this one, restored it, and then he mailed me his and restored that one. And we just visited uh, a few weeks ago, and he gave me this one. So, I'm going to go ahead and restore this one. It was in a little worse shape. You see it doesn't have the uh, plastic faceplate. And, of course, it uses a different set of um, leads than the other two. Those are the older uh, V7A models. And this is an IM18. So, a little later model. I think this is more late 60s, where those were... Uh, from the 50s. So I bought another set of probes. This is where I bought the other ones from. Very nicely made, well, high quality They're from this guy right here. So if you ever need uh, VTVM probes, look him up on eBay. Um, this one actually was, uh, besides missing the faceplate, was very dirty when I first got it. I've since cleaned it up. And it didn't have a battery in it and that spring that holds the battery was all corroded so I soaked that in vinegar for a couple hours and cleaned it all up put a new battery in it and then I just got the uh, probes today so I plugged it in and it seems to work it actually seems like it's fairly accurate now I was wondering where can I get a new faceplate and uh, of course you can't buy one but I did actually go and buy yet another VTVM a parts machine so that has the faceplate and a few other spare parts that I might need but outside it looks pretty rusty and corroded so I don't think it's going to be good for much yeah, so it'll be truly a parts machine where this one's actually working fairly well so I'll use the parts machine to replace the uh, plastic faceplate and I'll have a third one Yeah, I just received my uh, parts machine here for my uh, uh, IM18 Heathkit VTVM. And I was glad to see that the uh, faceplate here, our cover, glass, plastic cover of the meter is in good shape. That's what I needed. And uh, I kind of expected this, but from the pictures, this uh, meter is from Hawaii. And it looks like it was maybe even sitting in the ocean or something. It's pretty rusty. <laughs> At least close to salt water. And uh, you know, the uh, eBay seller sent me these nice cards. It said, it's, uh, Aloha, thanks for buying the meter. Uh, Maho, Michael. P.S. The cards are from my wife's art. Well, thank you, Michael. Appreciate those. And thanks for sending the meter. And it arrived in decent shape. And I will go ahead and harvest that uh, plastic cover and any other parts maybe that are still good inside this thing. And again, this is to fix the one that my father-in-law gave me uh, from Michigan. Here's the inside of the uh, parts machine. I'm not sure how many parts I'm going to get out of it. These tubes may be good. Like they're in decent shape. They had actually kind of one of them had fallen out in shipment. Here's the battery that was in it. That's definitely uh, pretty corroded. I can go in the trash can. And the inside, I don't know if there's any other parts that are salvageable. Um, it's pretty rusted out. I might get in there and tear it apart and see what I can get out of it. But definitely the thing I needed was the meter. Or at least the meter case or uh, cover and that seems to be in good shape this switch is locked up that uh, pot these pots are they may be fixable they're pretty rusty back there but they may be cleanable and uh, this switch matrix is probably okay I don't know if any of the other resistors there are still functional but maybe so I'll get something out of it. Hope I'll get my ten dollars worth or my thirteen dollars and ninety-nine cents worth out of it. 
Well, here's the good and the bad off that uh, parts VTVM that I just received. Uh, the plastic faceplate that I needed certainly good, and the meter actually looks in really good shape too. I may wind up using that one because my other original meter seems a little sticky. Uh, I think the transformer is probably good, uh, not too rusty. Let me check that out. The uh, lamp, lamp holder, and the little uh, lamp guide is probably okay. I'll save that in case I need it. And the two tubes out of the VTVM just tested good on my uh, ICO 666 tube tester, so I think they're okay. This thing, um, you know, I salvaged, salvaged a few of the parts off of it with that transformer and the, the light, but the rest of it I think is just too too rusty and too far gone. I'll so trash that. This thing, I did uh, free these up. I don't know if I would ever trust those, but I'll save them for now. Um, they seem to be working. And these pots are actually as rusty as they were. A little deoxid, they seem to be turning okay. I can check those for resistance. I may save that and salvage some parts off of it or try to. This thing, I think I'm just going to... Maybe a handle? Maybe I'll steal that, but... Outside that, uh, I don't think that's any good. And these things aren't that expensive to buy anyway, so. so that's it. At least I got the thing that I needed. Alright, I've got uh, my third Heathkit VTVM all uh, fixed up and calibrated. This one's a uh, model IM18. These were made from uh, about 1968 through 1976, if I remember correctly. And the two other ones I have are both uh, B7As. And those were made uh, 1956 through 1961. But uh, they're all very similar in design. In fact, they almost look identical when you open them up. Now this is the uh, parts machine that I got from Hawaii. It was pretty rusty. Uh, I wound up swapping out the meter, that's the meter out of mine, and put uh, the Hawaiian meter and its nice new faceplate on to get this thing fixed up. And its needle uh, swings properly. It's all calibrated and uh, looking pretty good. And I got a little few extra parts here. And then got the transformer out. The two tubes are good. Got the light just in case. There's the handle. And, uh, I'll go ahead and save that carcass for now. I don't know if there's anything really salvageable out of it, but just in case I need something. I'll save it for a while and throw it away. And then if you're interested in uh, vintage Heath kit test gear like I am, I have a few things around as a power supply, an old RF signal generator. Anyway, this guy, uh, Jeff uh, Trentner, um, he, I believe he's a Canadian, he has a, a YouTube site where he does a lot of reviews of uh, old uh, test equipment, uh, Heathkit and others, and he's got this nice book that he's printed out. It has a lot of uh, history and information on Heathkit stuff, so I'd recommend that also. So that's it. One more Heathkit VTVM up and running.